Hi, Tammy here, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to all of my new subscribers, and to those of you coming back, welcome back. This is Faith Family and Fashion, and today we are cooking. So we are trying, this recipe has been pinned on Pinterest like enormous amounts of time, and um, I thought I'd give it a try. So this is Million Dollar Spaghetti, and so what I've got going is I chopped up a bell pepper and an onion. I chopped up part of an onion. This is like a huge onion, so I chopped up part of that. I chopped up two bell peppers, well, a bell pepper and a half, because they were kind of starting to go bad, you know, like they needed to be used. So I'm probably not going to use all of that, maybe half of that. And I have got some ground turkey. I've got some, what is this, sour cream, cottage cheese, new fatella cheese, like light cream cheese, and then I've got some Hunt's uh, basil, diced basil, garlic, oregano, and then a small can of tomato sauce. You can totally use spaghetti sauce if you have it. And then I just have some regular like mozzarella and pizza cheese. I did buy a new thing of mozzarella, but it only calls for a cup. So, uh, yeah, so I thought I would uh, just use these at first. So okay and then over here it's really dark over here my light went out so I'm trying to like use this light <laughs> so you guys can see better maybe so I have my spaghetti cooking it's doing it has two minutes so does that help any no okay so that's my spaghetti and I am about to cook up my onions and peppers um, these are eggs those have nothing to do with the dish those are just for my lunch this or breakfast this next week and then over here I've got some Italian seasoning some black pepper some parsley, salt, and some garlic, and I'm going to put some, a little bit of oil in this pan. I think I'm going to grab my coconut oil just because it's healthier. So let's do that. The eggs have absolutely nothing to do with the dinner. But for some reason, I just like watching them boil. Okay, so let's jump back in this. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so what I did was I put in my onion, half of the bell peppers that I cooked, and some chopped garlic. And then I rinsed my spaghetti noodles. And let's come over here. Okay, here we go. So this is my cheese mixture. This is 8 ounces of low-fat cream cheese. It is 8 ounces of cottage cheese. 8 ounces of cream cheese. You can substitute ricotta cheese for cottage cheese if you have it or like it better. Personally, I like cottage cheese. And then a quarter cup of sour cream. And then some more chopped garlic and some Italian seasoning. And I'll put the recipe uh, down below. Um, what I'm about to do is I'm going to put this ground meat in the pan with the onions and peppers and get that cooked. And then I'm going to add the tomato sauce to it. And then I think we are about ready to assemble. So let me do some more and I'll come back. So, it looks like, sorry here, looks like the uh, ground meat and onions and peppers and garlic are all cooked. So I'm going to pour in my tomatoes. These are diced basil, garlic, and oregano. And then also my can of spaghetti sauce. I am really sorry this is dark. I'm going to try to lighten this up in editing. So I'm going to do that. Stir this around. Let this cook for a few minutes. And then we will get ready to assemble. We have a 9 by 13 pan. And it called for a stick of butter, and you cut it 
and you put half down inside the pan. Now I did just go ahead and spray the pan because I always have a fear of everything sticking. So this is what we start with and then we put in half the noodles, half of the cheese mixture, the other half of the noodles, the other half of the cheese mixture, and then we top it with the meat sauce. So let's get going on that. Half of the noodles on top of the butter. And the noodles, um, I did rinse them after I drained them because if you don't, they get really sticky. And then sometimes they can even still get sticky if you don't use them right away. So if you are cooking with noodles, you need to bake them, you rinse them, or you drain them and they get really gummy and sticky, go ahead and run them under some cool water. And uh, because you're going to put them in the oven and reheat them anyway, and it gets all that starch off and makes them really nice and loose and not sticky and gummy anymore. So let's do the cream cheese okay, later. So now. here is the noodles on top of the butter with the cheese mixture on top of that we're just going to do this again let's see if i can do this i may have more noodles than i need let's spread this out i have a stand for my phone or my camera i mean i can't seem to find it i will uh, link the recipe below or provide it in the description if you want to try this, so this is a complete Pinterest try here. I've never done this before, so I guess we will see a Pinterest success or fail recipe here. Okay, I cannot do the cheese mixture one-handed, okay, so, so let me get the other noodles. You see me do that. I did the rest of the cheese mixture, and then I took the rest of the butter and I put it on top. And now I pressed it down because I am wondering how all of this meat is going to fit on top. But Let's see. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to tell you if you guys can tell. That meat sauce is piled on. And that's with me taking the spoon and kind of digging down in there trying to make some room. So the recipe says to cover it in foil and bake it for 30 minutes. I'm, I'm not getting any foil over this, I don't think. So I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes, pull it out, put some more cheese on top because there's not enough in it already, bake it for 10 more minutes, and then we can eat. So, uh, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, so here it is. Million dollar spaghetti. Now, I do mix my cheeses, so I did put a little bit of, uh, I had left over some pizza mix cheese, and I did put a little bit of cheddar cheese on here. Um, I'd never thought of doing that before. I thought that was like, such a big no-no was to mix cheddar with Italian cheeses until I seen somebody else do it. Cheddar's so sharp, it's kind of nice to cut through all of that rich, creamy, um, Italian cheese mixture so I did put a little bit of that on top I cooked it I didn't do the whole 10 minutes I did about eight minutes so this is what it looks like I'll show you here in a second when we cut some put it on a plate you know with any kind of casserole you kind of want to let it sit for a few minutes otherwise it's gonna fall apart so we are just having this with a bag of salad some ranch dressing some fresh cut up pineapple pine yeah pineapple and uh, I didn't buy it I bought it and cut it up I just am reusing a container and I have already cooked our garlic bread and chopped that up. So that is our dinner. And uh, when I plate it, I'll yeah, show you so what it Here it like. is. I'll plate it up. Our million dollar spaghetti. Our salad. Some bread. So this is it. Let's see. We'll get a taste test in here. Hold on. You it like it? Delicious. You like it? Awesome. So you think this is a, uh, a pass or a fail as far as a Pinterest recipe? A pass. Awesome. Okay, so you heard it. So now we're going to eat dinner. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with us. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put this recipe down in the uh, down bar. And as always, remember to thank God for today because it truly is a gift. And we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. Like it. Remember to subscribe. Subscribe.